Let's go over three multiple choice questions about a chloroplast. Here's the easy one. The main function of a chloroplast is to blank. A, break down food for energy. No, that would be the mitochondria. A is out. B, store water for the cell. No, there's gonna be water within the chloroplast, but it's not storing it. That'd be like a vacuole. B is out. C, carry out photosynthesis. This is the right answer here. Let's check D and E just to make sure. D, package proteins for export. That would be like the Golgi body. That's out. And then E, control cell division. That would be the job of the nucleus. Not it. That is why C is the correct answer. The reason why this is an easy question is basically it's just asking if you've memorized the function of the chloroplast. Here's the medium question. The stroma of the chloroplast, it's like the inside liquid, it's like the cytoplasm of the chloroplast, is the site of blank. The question is just basically asking, have you memorized what occurs in the stroma versus the thylakoids? And looking at our answers, A, ATP formation by ATP synthase. No, that's gonna occur in the thylakoids, that's out. B, linear electron flow. Again, that's gonna occur along the thylakoid membrane, that's out. Splitting of water molecules occurs in the thylakoid, that's out. D, carbon fixation. That sounds like our answer. Remember that carbon fixation occurs during the Calvin cycle or the light independent reactions, and that's going to primarily occur in the stroma here. And then E, chlorophyll excitation or being excited, that's not the answer because that occurs during the light dependent reactions along the thylakoid membrane, so that's out. The reason, again, why this is a little bit harder of a question is it's looking at the actual processes between the light dependent and independent reactions and seeing if you know where they occur within the chloroplast. Here's our last one. Chloroplasts are believed to have originated from blank. This is a hard question because it's not only looking at, okay, what is a chloroplast? What does it do? It's asking, where does it actually come from? And remember that chloroplasts originated just like mitochondria through something called the endosymbiotic theory. So let's try to find that in our answers. A, fungi they had that adapted to light. No, they're not fungi. B, a symbiotic relationship with cyano cyanobacteria. That sounds right because they were once free-living organisms called cyanobacteria. I think B is the right answer here. Let's look at C, D, and E though. C, proto-mitochondria. No, they evolved along mitochondria. They're not proto-mitochondria though. And then D, plant vacuoles that engulf pigments. That's a good wrong answer. That sounds right because it has pigments, but that's not the right answer. And then E, viruses carrying photosynthesis genes. No, they're not viruses. This is why B here is the right answer.